Good morning guys. Today I wanted to talk about something that I'm really passionate about and the reason why I'm so inspired by this is I just watched a video by my friend John Sane and in this video he talked about being your authentic self and he had mentioned how somebody had asked him how does he present so well and how does he use his hands when he talks and things like that and you know he explained how if you come from a place of authenticity and if you come from a place of absolute conviction about what you're talking about, when you're on stage and you're presenting and things like that and when you're talking video and so on, people don't care if you make mistakes. And I totally agree with this statement. I do spend a lot of time as a creator trying to craft my videos, but the truth is when I'm really passionate about something, I don't think I could script that. I think it comes from the heart. So what I wanted to talk about today is something that is close to my heart. And that is how organizations are setting themselves up to fail. And I, I believe that there's a better way to do things. And I've been convicted about this for years. So let me give you a scenario. In a lot of organizations, what they try and do is they try and each department go and they set up design in their specific department to meet their specific needs. Now, some organizations have tried to design centrally and failed because they were too rigid in how they created the assets that the other departments needed to use. So they, these other departments would kick back and go, ah, you know, you're not giving us what we need, one. And then the other thing is, you know, you never really considered us. You always focused on the main retail banking brand, for example, or the main thing, and you didn't consider our customers and, and their needs. And so I feel that they failed. Another organizational thing that happens is that there's only so many resources to go around. And quite often, the person who's bringing the, I suppose, perceived as bringing in the most money and value to the, the bigger brand is the one that they focus on, which could be right or wrong, you know. But to me, this kind of approach, though, of going, oh, well, this isn't working for us and whatever, therefore we're just going to do our own thing, is damaging the brand and it's a huge failure of organizations. People don't care about your multiple brands. Sure, the right experience for the right customer, totally agree with that. But if you think of Apple, Apple doesn't go and design a different experience for the MacBook compared to the experience that you get with the iPhone or the iPod. There's not the iPod department kind of packaging that's completely different to what's going on in uh, the MacBook packaging. At the end of the day, whenever you think of Apple, it's designed in California. That's kind of, you open up an Apple product and you get this thing as it's designed in California. And that's how you've got to think. You've got to think that it is essential. The brand is one thing. It is a single entity. How you talk to the specific consumer who interacts with your department or product or service, that can change. But there needs to be consistency when people just look at the brand on the surface. So what I've always proposed, and I still propose, is to design centrally to create a single brand vision in all your product assets, all your efforts centrally, then allow each department or product team to leverage that main system and of course get the appropriate copy for that specific client or the appropriate photography for that specific client. But ultimately, there should be a similar green button or a similar um, style of photography that represents the brand centrally. The 
brand is what holds all things together. And so why create these clusters within an organization that do their own thing? You, you can hardly get two designers sitting next to each other to design the same thing. How on earth are you going to get a team spread out across an entire organization to align if you don't put some sort of system in place, some sort of guideline and assets that they can reuse so that productivity increases and you can stop redoing things in your interpretation of that said item and rather just reuse and focus your energy at bettering the experiences and other things. So this is something that's very close to my heart, something I'm very passionate about. Be convicted about what you're passionate about and so on and put that out there without any fear. Don't over edit. Get it out there. Speak up. Say your thing. There's power in that. There's power in authenticity. Be convicted. Have a great week. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, leave a comment and stay cool. Oh, and uh, my friend John is a fascinating guy, best-selling author, entrepreneur, fantastic speaker. Please, I've put a link down below. Give him a follow, give his books a read, attend one of his talks.